Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners, my name is Stephen Kariungi. We continue with our topic on reception, response and coordination in plants. Last lesson, we learned about how auxins coordinate phototropism. In other words, the role of auxins in phototropism. We are going to look at uh, now the role of auxins in geotropism. So the heading for today is role of auxins in geotropism. And remember, geotropism is the response to gravity. Is the response to gravity. And uh, we are going to have a scenario here of a young shoot or a young seedling. And this young seedling, we shall place it in a horizontal manner. So we'll have a seedling here. We have the side of the root and the side of the shoot. So that is a young seedling that is placed in a horizontal position or that is growing in a horizontal position. Then when it is like that, we know that the force of gravity is acting downwards. So this is gravity. And also here, it's acting downwards. So what happens is that if a seedling is placed in a horizontal position, because of the influence of the gravitational force, you will find that the auxins will tend to migrate to the lower position. The auxins will diffuse to the lower surface and also in the shoot. You will have auxins diffusing to the lower side. So in this case, you can say that uh, auxins diffuse to the lower side. of the shoot and root. So for both cases, we have the root, the root is on this side, that is the root, and this is the shoot. Now, this is at the beginning. If you leave that seedling for a few days, for a few days while it is growing in that position, we are saying that the auxins will be on the lower side on both the side of the root and also on the side of the shoot because of the effect of gravity. The effect of gravity is acting downwards. So the auxins will diffuse to the lower side. Now, on the side of the root, when the auxins are in a high concentration, the rate of growth is slower. Note that. When the auxins are in a high concentration, the rate of growth is lower. But in the case of the shoot, when the auxins are in a high concentration, the rate of growth is faster. So, if we come and observe this seedling after a few days, so this is... a uh, at the beginning, and then we can draw the same, we can draw it on the other side. So we have the root, and then we have the shoot. Here we have the auxins. Then we have the gravity. So we are saying that when the concentration of auxins is higher on the lower side, it makes the lower side to grow slowly. 
than the upper side. So the upper side grows faster. So in this case, the auxins prevent faster growth of the root. So in this case, the upper side grows faster and the root bends downwards. In the case of the shoot, high concentration of auxins make the growth to be faster. So it's the opposite of the root. So high concentration of auxins make the shoot grow faster and therefore it bends upwards. So that is why after a few days, you will find that in as much as you had placed the seedling horizontally, you will find that the root will tend to bend downwards and the shoot will bend upwards. So this is uh, after, let's say something like four days. So what we are saying is that we can explain it here, or we can explain the observation. That after the seedling is placed in a horizontal position for four days, the root bends downwards due to high concentration of auxins. which inhibit, on the lower side, which inhibit growth on the lower side. So in the root, the lower side grows less faster. The growth is inhibited. But in the shoot, the higher concentration of auxins make growth to occur faster. on the lower side, faster on the lower side, bending the shoot upwards. So that is how you can investigate the role of auxins in geotropism. Placing a seedling of a young plant in a horizontal position so that the effect of gravity is felt. So the auxins will move to the lower side. But after some few days, the root side that has received a high concentration will grow less. But for the shoot side, the side that has a high concentration will grow more. So the shoot will bend upwards as the root bends downwards. The next uh, concept uh, that we shall mention is the role of auxins in thigmotropism or haptotropism. This is where uh, when a young seedling comes into contact with a solid object. So when the young seedling that is growing comes into contact with a solid object like a rock, uh, when the seedling hits the rock, that is the shoot, the auxins diffuse to the side away from the contact, away from the contact, and that is why the side that has the contact with the rock grows slowly, but the side that is outside grows faster. And that is why you find that 
the seedling starts coiling around the rock or the solid uh, object. So we'll put that as a diagram. You can have uh, So this is a, a branch coiling around a solid object. So you can say that auxins diffuse to the side away from the contact. Making the stem to coil around to coil around the solid object. So here it is stigmotropism because it is caused by contact. The stem comes into contact and the auxins diffuse to the side away from the contact. So the other side away from the contact grows faster and then it coils around the branch. So this uh, is the solid object on which the branch is coiling around. So then we have the branches here coiling around the, the solid object. That's what you are calling thigmotropism or haptotropism. So we have learned two concepts. The first concept is the role of auxins in geotropism. Geotropism is the effect of gravity. Under the influence of gravity, auxins, which are the growth hormones, they diffuse to the lower side. Gravity is acting downwards. So on the root side, the lower side grows less faster. It grows slowly. So the root bends down. The upper side is growing faster than the lower side. But on the shoot side, the lower side is growing faster than the upper side. So it bends like that, as shown in the diagram there. And then, of course, we have the second case, which is the role of auxins in thigmotropism, whereby when a branch comes into contact with a solid object, the auxins move away from the move away to the side that doesn't have the contact. So the side away from the contact grows faster, and that is what makes the, the stem to coil around that particular solid object. So, so the assignment for that, the assignment for that will be as follows. There are two concepts there. Explain what is thigmotropism. Two, how do the auxins coordinate a geotropism? and B, thigmotropism. Use illustrations. To explain. 
use a diagram to explain the two processes, how the auxins coordinate geotropism and how they coordinate pigmotropism. We have already learned that, so you'll go through the materials and then now be able to answer the questions in the, in the assignment. So we'll stop there for now. See you next time. Thank <music> you.